This is question number 16. The figure below shows a quadrilateral A, B, C, D and a mirror line M1, M2. So we have our quadrilateral A, B, C, D and our mirror line. A. Draw the quadrilateral A, B, C, D plane. The image of A, B, C, D and a reflection in the mirror line M1, M2. So you can uh, use uh, your geometrical set. You can either use a compass and you drop a perpendicular from C. You make two arcs like that and then you will be able to, to join a line. The principles of reflection. The distance from the mirror, from the object, like for example, let's start with A. The distance from A to the mirror line is the same distance from the mirror line to the image. Again, the second principle. Uh, the line joining the object and the image are perpend is perpendicular to the mirror line. So you can use a compass. Another way is uh, you can use a protractor to be able to get uh, the line here and then you use a ruler. I uh, find it easier for me to use a protractor and uh, I can mark I can mark uh, I can get the, the angle 90 from uh, the mirror line so I'll be able to set my my from the mirror line so that's uh, that's my compass and uh, can make it a bit smaller so that I can be able to identify so you can see now the the angle that I have made here, uh, I have set my my protractor in such a way that uh, I will be able to get that angle 90. Let me set it properly. So, so that that way I have identified a point where I have angle 90. Uh, not yet really set completely very well. I think that's better. So I can mark my point here. So it means that uh, if I use a ruler, I will be able to join the two points. Uh, that is, you draw, I draw a line uh, from C uh, through that point where I had I, I have identified as uh, 90 degrees and then I can be able to measure the distance from the object that is from C uh, I can see it's around uh, 7 point it's around 7.3 uh, let me start from the beginning so we have that is around 3.3 .3, so it means my image should be at 6.6 .6. So I can be able to identify 6.6 .6 is there. So that is where I should have my A, my C rather. So that is where we have our point B. You repeat the same using the compass, but since also my ruler is uh, horizontal, I can be able also to, to use uh, my ruler and be able to identify the image. So I want to identify B. So I'll draw a line there. Then from B, uh, that is from B, I, I can see it's around 2.2. So it means I should 2.2, so it should be 4.4. .4. Uh, so uh, that is my point B. Uh, I can also identify, you can use a protractor as well. I can also identify where D is. Uh, so this is where I have my D. As long as you make uh, an angle of 90. So this is a 4.3. So it is 8.6. Can be able to get 8.6. So this is where we have our have my D. And finally I can identify where I have my 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 a so this is 3.3.8 so it is 7.6 so
so this is where I should get my other point uh, so again now I can use a ruler to join the four points uh, so this is where I have my A so using the same ruler uh, I can be able to uh, get my join my points so this is a uh, where I'll take my ruler then uh, I have point A so I can join point A and B so that is where I'll have my A and B uh, not like that my A and B uh, let me use a better my A and B so that is my A I can as well join A and uh, let me put it here then I can join B and A somewhere there it should be easier when you are using the geometric corset so Hey. Boa. Yeah. Di na oru ni. Tomodo to kirira dia. Tomodo no ede ni to age kirira ni edu na nyaga to die da to horira rege ni tore twaria. Asa di uite. Die da hora rege. Eh di kyo ria mai gire ona ka MC ka ni dia ka horire. Oh asi ako horira. Asa ga ti ka hora. Eh. Acha tukoje basi. So you can also uh, join A and D here. You can join A and D. Uh, that is where you have our A and D there. Uh, A and D then uh, finally we join uh, we join the our 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 A our our A and D and you should be able to do that so once you join that then you have that is reflection uh, using a mathematical set you should move faster and also get uh, uh, a better image now uh, but the most important thing to note is that uh, you follow the two the two principles of refraction that the distance from the object pro to the mirror line is the same as the distance from the mirror line to uh, the image so this is our plane this is our uh, a b c d plane uh, uh so we have a i think this should be uh this should be d and this should be uh this should be b and this should be c i think uh, we did the wrong naming so this is c a b c d so those are the most and then the other one is that the angle uh the line joining the object and the mirror and the image makes an angle of 90 degrees with the mirror line so those are the most important uh, uh, things that you need to uh, to work on and then once you follow that you should be able to use your mathematical instrument to do that then uh, you have b uh, state the kind type of congruency between a b c d and a b so this is called indirect indirect congruence indirect congruence means you have to rotate or you have to to overturn uh, this object so that it fits onto the image that's why we are calling indirect direct is where we can be able to translate the object and fit onto the 
uh, image so that's what we call direct congruency but this one is indirect congruency and that's how you do that question